Hey guys, I'm back again, and I made a little amplifier, three tubes, miniature tubes, look at my thumb, they're really small, this is one of the boxes, I do not have one lying, oh, I do, in my hand it's so small, it's really, really small. The 100 volt output transformer works just fine. Messy circuit board with a uh, maximum voltage booster and a lot of voltage doubler, uh, doublers. 70 volts across the tubes. The speaker, yeah, I know it has some scuff marks, but when I'm gonna use it, I'm just gonna touch them up. It's in real good state, this speaker. Well, let's turn it on. I have my multimeter attached to it. It's an amperage, it's all uh, turned off. When I touch this to the plus terminal, yes, it works on 12 volts. It will start working. But first, let's turn this on. I hope I won't get problems with YouTube because, well, I have it many times already. Real, real heavy. It's the riddle, by the way. Um, here's the start of the number 370 milliamps. Tubes instantly start up. Little red glow on the side. I don't believe you can see it. Oh, yes, you can. It just plays. And here's the sound. Yeah, it's less than a watt, so don't expect much from it, but, well, it runs on a battery. It's just freaking awesome. I have a gain potential. This, this is no gain. And this one is for you. volume and this one is going Well, that's enough of that. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna have a box made up for it. So I'm gonna take the size of the speaker and just calculate the box on that size. And then, yeah, it will be done. This is a real old speaker. It's, it has a, has a beaten, it's broken there, there. Also some glue here, it's broken there. But this one, still works and still sounds good even though it's broken ring for behind the speaker well um thanks for listening guys and have a great day